Hello. Finally Friday, yeah. So we are back, and uh, for this video, which we want to build, like uh, to be able to do like hot air soldering, yeah. Let's go back in time, 18 years ago or 17 years ago. Uh, when I start my first business, yeah, back in Romania, 17 years ago. On that time, no one was able to do like hot air soldering, yeah. And uh, I was first in town able to do soldering with the hot air, yeah. So back 17 years or 18 years, I don't remember. I don't remember. We was fixing things like that. Yeah, 198. You remember Ericsson 198 with the flipping antenna? Or uh, this Nokia 2010. You remember? Yeah, this one. I was only which was able to replace components from the board. Okay? So, uh, what I'm trying to do here is to build up a, a thing so we can solder with hot air. Okay? What I will use for this, I ordered from eBay a few resistors, yeah? Like, these are like for solder iron. Solder iron, you know, inside, they have a things like that. Which is solder the, the tip. It's it's hitting the tip, sorry. Yeah? So these are heaters basically. I ordered them from eBay and uh, it's cheap, it's around five. I pay for five of this, I pay around two twenty nine, yeah. But the only reason, yeah, one one more time, yeah. Or maybe I didn't told you, I didn't told you, yeah. So I bought them only to use the ceramic tube. Because I can't, I can't find around like a ceramic tube. You know, it's a tube, with ceramic one. So it's like high temperature, uh, it's, it's a very good uh, isolator, yeah? So we'll use something like that. And I try to replicate what I did 17, 17 years ago. Probably 18, I don't remember, yeah? So let's start. And build up the main part of the machine yeah this will be a nice experiment yeah this bring me memories <laughs> you'll be laughing yeah so I will try to take this out and probably I can't Yeah, the resistance is inside. I don't need the resistance. I need only the tube. That's all what I need. <sighs> it's no way. So the resistance is stuck inside in some kind of cement. You see this kind of cement. But let's try to get out. <sighs> nah, there's no way. It's no way to take this out. I can't believe. So we have to cut more from the, from the tube. When I when I order these things, I didn't think actually something inside which which will stop me to take out the tube. But yeah. Any, anyway, if you have a ceramic tube, you don't need nothing else, yeah. So use your ceramic tube, tube, yeah. So now I can take this out. Yeah. So I can take the resistance out. So I can use my tube. Yeah. 
that's all what I need, the tube. Okay, so we have the ceramic tube. <sighs> okay, let's clean this. <sighs> yeah, Diana will thank me after, yeah? <laughs> Probably. Okay, so you have to understand the meaning of this video, yeah? I'm trying to stay out from my bubble, you know? Everyone has a bubble, and it's a, it's a nice bubble. But there are people, poor people, hungry people, which we don't know them. We think we if, if I'm not hungry, probably the other person from there is not hungry, but it's not true, yeah? So maybe this video will be useful or someone who try to do something, yeah? Okay, the next thing is what we need. We have the tube, yeah? Next thing is what we need is we need our uh, heater, yeah? We cannot use this. Probably this is a small wire. Yeah, it's a tiny wire. We need a powerful one. And I need a resistor. You can take the wire from a um, uh, from a resistor. You know the big resistors? If you have spares like this, this is a plasma board, yeah? Obviously it's for spares and you have this big resistor, 5 watts resistor. Okay? So let's try and use one of these resistors. Yeah. Yeah, I'll crack it. What's wrong with this resistor? Hmm? Okay. So we have our resistor. <laughs> Give me one second. So this will be our heating element, yeah? So if I will come with the power supply, well, let's see. Ground. Plus. Oh, it's getting hot. Mm, how can I... How can I do it? One point five amps. Two point sixteen and it's red. You can see it red? Or maybe not. You can't see it. Be careful when you play with these things. You can see it red? Yeah? You can see it's red. Okay. 
I burnt my desk. So if you should be careful when you play with these things. Now I need the wire. We can't put this inside. This is too big. Yeah. Yeah, it's too big. But I'll use the wire. I will use the wire. It's still hot. So I need a wire. Let me see how, how can I get the wire out. The problem with this wire, this is not really perfect. It should be, should be like double the size of the wire. So it's not really good, but we don't have nothing else. You know, on that time, you can find any like big wide disc resistors, like on the, the old TVs with the tubes. But in these days, hard to find. So I'll try to use this one. Try to break the wire. All I want is to stay, take this wire out. And this will be our heating element. I know it's 2018 and everyone has one of these hot air uh, soldering things. Uh, you know, this was what we are using on that time. Okay, let's take out the wire. So this will be our heating element, yeah? Good. Perfect. Yeah, that's the one. Maybe I can bring some light here. Yeah. I think now it's better. Yeah, that's our wire. What do I need now? This should be inside here. Okay, I'll use... I'll use something to... You know the... Okay, like this. Yeah, that's what what we need. And this is our resistance, our heating element. Hmm. Or is too small? You think it's too small? Yeah, maybe. I need something bigger. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, this one. Let's try and use this one.
course you can use uh, whatever you think is right for you I think that's all, yeah? That should be fine. So that's our coil, yeah? The heating coil. Okay, this should be inside. And what do we need? We need one wire. I will use these things, yeah? Okay, this one. Yeah. This one. Okay. Perfect. Obviously, I want to test it, you know. Obviously, I want that. And on the other side, we need another this. That looks fine for me. Okay, that's perfect. Or nearly perfect. That's great, so we have our heating element, yeah? Next! We need to find a way to put this inside. Yeah, that's great, this will be here. Okay, so we can use a wire. One second. One second. Yeah. Let's use a wire there. So this will be outside. This will be inside. Okay, okay, that's good. <coughs> so I'll come with this here, yeah? This should be shorter, like that. <coughs> you know, I love to play with these things. <laughs> this is history. Okay, that's good. Let's bring this inside. <laughs> Perfect! That's fantastic. So we can come outside with the wire. Here, I'll use some tape, like you know, the high temperature tape. Okay. Fantastic. And now we have the second wire. The second wire, which is a little bit too long. And we are close to check the 
the machine here. Yeah? Okay, I'll try to use this, this thing here. Okay, the wire. Fantastic. Okay. So I think we are ready. Well, give me one second, one second. Oh, sorry for that. Let's connect with the power supply. I will control the coil on current. Yeah, you don't control on voltage. You control on current. That's important. Yeah. The way how you will control the temperature. Well, actually, you'll control the temperature on different way. Actually, by the airflow. Yeah, that's the way how we will control the temperature. So let's see. Yeah, it's red. Yeah. So you can see inside. Okay, it's not meant to work like that because it will get burned. Yeah. So because of this reason, I'll connect this. Ninety milliamps. That's good. I'll keep the current down. Yeah. So let's start. Let's start do some things. Yeah. Let's start. Let's start solder. We are ready. Yeah. Let me bring the microscope. Now let's see if I, if I can do it. If I can, you know this. I can't explain it. You know, I was working so long and I was working like one year just using this thing. Okay. Let me grab a board. It's a Samsung board, doesn't matter. Or iPhone or whatever you want. Let's try first with a small chip. Okay, let's use flux. Ah, oh, you don't know from where the airflow come? <laughs> Obviously, you have to use your mouth. And create airflow. Let's try. Let's use flux. Yeah. Well, let's see. Let's see if we can, we can do it. Uh, I can't because the microscope is too. Uh, how can I do it? How can I do it? Because the microscope is here and it's not supposed to be like that. But you know what? Let me try first. Let me try. Hmm. 
Probably you can't see it well. I think we need more current. Okay, one wire. My uh, power supply wire. Yeah, so that's the chip. Yeah, what is wrong here? Yeah, that's the chip. We took out the chip. Yeah, I can't see. Sorry. So we thought we took out the chip from here. The board is clean, nice, nothing wrong. Yeah. So two problems. Yeah. Two problems with my toy is the middle wire should be let me let me if I remember the size should be like something like that yeah and it will give you like uh, more leverage so the power will be higher okay the second problem the temperature how you control the temperature is based on the airflow yeah more airflow lower temperature that was how we was working uh, 17 years ago and yeah i was replacing chip with a toy like that you understand that's how we are, was working on that that days on those days yeah with this thing Let me see if I can do it. Yeah? <laughs> it's a nice toy, you see? It's all red. And you can melt things. It's smoking first time, but after that it will not smoke. And obviously if there's no airflow, if it's no airflow, it's getting hot. Yeah. What you can do, you can 
tune up the things you can use a tube from here to a fan yeah and actually you can push air but for me it was more easy in this way to solder things and I think I, rem I think that the tube was longer so I can use like that and work uh, work on the board okay so we remove a chip so it's possible yeah you can do it yeah we are 2018 but who knows who knows maybe there are people they want to play with something like that so that was my hot air machine the rework machine on that time yeah so just do it if you don't have yeah try it try it on some point I was so professional you know because working working get used to these things yeah and I was replacing so easily so now now you see it's, it's for, for for myself it's looking complicated try to do things like that but if you use this yeah every day and you understand exactly the current the flow it's like working with a normal machine it's no difference yeah okay so what I can say good luck let me know if you did this before or if you are about to do it yeah on the comments and uh, what can I say good luck yeah don't forget like and subscribe if you like the video and see you later bye